We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are marking up LMT. Up for business. Feel like I was going on the market price action. Last candle in the market. Also, we can clearly see that we are in that up to that market. Market stopping that type of resistance in this area. We're gonna see if we're gonna get a breakout. So, price action, last candle in the market is a bullish candle. Market price is breaking up. Price close above the second last candle, which is looking like a clean break. Price above the second last candle. Market closed out, market's working its way up. So we'll be in that uptrend or market be worth pushing up area resistance. So price action highs, highest highs. We're looking for price to tag this area here. Price action lowest lows. We're looking for price to tag this area here. Midpoint in the middle. So what we can see is, so there's a pattern at this area of price of the highs. So what happened? So first of all, market's coming from a structure of a what? Double bottom at that low. So let's draw it out. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Decline W, spiked that support area twice. Market pushed up. There was a retest here. We'll identify this on a lower time frame. Market pushed up once. That's a retest. Market pushed up twice. Market's at a retest can do now. Got the engulfment. Market pushed back down to that midpoint. So what's pattern happened here? Uh, let's do that one more time. <clears throat> because we have that market spiked up once. Market spiked up twice. So double top and a retest. Or we may be just a single top and a retest when we walk down the time frame. So market came back to that midpoint. Once that market came back to midpoint, so it's the pattern structure that's forming. Could be the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest. And we can see that market's person working his way up all together. That is one, two, three. Pushes down to that bottom. So market could be working his way up from a triple top. Once market price closed out for this engulfing. If the market's going to work its way down, what we we're looking for is the market to work its way down in that downtrend. If it's true, we can see that wedge pattern that the market could be turned around. If price action can do is a retest, as retesting previous areas of highs, that can spike this market and drop that down. Let's see what we're looking at. So we could be looking at the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. Market push down once, retest. The market could push down again. Break the midpoint, get the retest, and break down further. So I did count about four retests, four four pushes to that top. I did count about four pushes to that top. I'm gonna do that one one more time because I think it's more than one, more than four pushes. So first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. Mark push down once, retest. Mark push down twice, retest. Once, twice, three, four. That's four pushes in total in that area. Including this one, if this market doesn't break and retest, that will be five put five pushes to that top of that resistance, and market is working its way down. Get it down to the weekly time frame. Um, pattern right in front of us. We're gonna look at this pattern that's forming in front of us. On top of adding this with what we see in front of us near price action. Price action candle bullish candle market showing is that working its way up an incline. Uh, price is above the previous candle, wicks above the previous wick, showing that the market can be working its way up further. We're just going to identify if we may have some type of consolidation, also type of retest in the market. So we didn't identify any retest in this area yet. So let's draw out the structure of price action pattern, which is the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. And we all we're waiting for is a retest. So we don't know if the retest is coming up. We're going to see if we identify that. In this area here on that time frame but i did count it a double bottom but looking closely at it i did miss one candle so let's do that one more time it's actually a triple bottom overall 
first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, market pushed up once, retest, market pushed up twice. So we have one, two, three, four, four pushes down to that bottom. I think I overdid it. Yep, that's right. Four pushes down to that bottom. Um, market price action. Think about highs here, lows here, midpoint. Market could be breaking. Once it did break, something could be retesting, pushing up further. We don't see the break and we don't see the retest yet. So we're going to see if we can identify it while we walk down the time frame. Keeping the price action above resistance line. So we're going to call this the consolidation line. We're, waiting for, we're going to see if market's going to consolidate with price action highest wick compared down to the lowest uh, price action towards that body of that market. Mm. And it down to the daily time frame. Okay, now we can see that uh, consolidation in that market trying to break. And also we see the break and retest of that structure. So it's patterns all over the place. So let's see if we can identify these patterns in the market. And on this area here, we can see we do have that triple bottom. Earlier, we seen it as a double bottom because we counted this area here. So this is identifying a triple bottom and its overall structure. And double bottom retest. Market pushed up once, market pushed up twice, market pushed up three times, market pushed up four. But overall in that area, it's really triple bottom retest. Market pushed up once, market pushed up twice. Still got about two more pushes to go from this area. So what we're looking for with price action, price action is above the previous wick showing we get the engulfment, this market can push up. Headed down to the four. On the four hour time frame, we do, I mean, you know, the daily in the four, we do see the break and retest. We do have the engulfing pattern, the second to last can do, showing that the market's pushing up. Price action can do. Body's above the previous body. Week is above the previous week, showing that the market could be pushing up more. We're looking for price to break that consolidation area that we found on the daily time frame. So we can see that market's working its way sideways having a hard time breaking so consolidation is happening in that market on the four three two and the one hour time frame so far in the 45 so market is identifying the same thing so but the retest we have a doji in the market so after this doji we're looking for an engulfing pattern to push that market up from this doji down or the market is going to keep on forming more dojis to work its way sideways headed down to the 15 minute time frame starting to see more structure we have a break and retest of this area. So market broke, touched that area that high of the resistance of that consolidation area we identified on the daily time frame. Market came back to retest, trying to push up. Price action is a doji. That means it can still works its way sideways. It's a slight incline in that market with the wick in the body with price. So it could be working its way up, but we have to see additional candles form bullish for the market to push up. Headed down to the five minute time frame, we see market creating that area of support and also a pattern. So what we have here, market came up to that top, pushed up once, pushed up twice, have a double top here. And once market came down to that look at second level highs, we do have that first leg, second leg, third leg. Market's trying to push up at that fourth, like I said before, just like the 15 minute time frame. Market's working its way at consolidation with the doji, headed down to the three. And golfing pattern, market's pushing up, but market's near that area of resistance May have to wait for more candles to form. We want to see price action break this level here and eventually break the SR level with the consolidation. So it has two more levels to get up to before it breaks the highest high of this resistance on these lower time frames. Market structure. Double bottom right in front of us. Market's at the resistance. I think golf of that retest. So the second and last candle reach second last candle, third to last candle is a retest candle. So some, some something's happening in the market. Very important information, guys. Please study Forex pattern cheat sheet, breakdown retest strategies. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis.